our girls on the gridiron today. I'm joining Kasumnas Oaks flag football team this morning. Let's see if I have what it takes to be on the team. Let's go. thing guys she is mega talented captain of this flag football team it's their inaugural year Sarah how are things looking the team's looking really good we have a really great environment with all of us everyone's super sweet and we try really hard and we want to say a big thank you to our coach Mr. Smith he's helped us so much and our assistant coach Ms. Heron we love it and also thing to note captain is Sarah Gray not to be confused with Sacra Gray but I do think it's fate so tell us a little bit about leading this team and when it when it's the first year for anything I mean the leadership really sets the tone right um, I'm so lucky that there's three other captains supporting me we have Avery Nogosik, AJ Hawthorne and Abby Green and all of us lead together we help lead warm-ups and kind of help direct the team and it's really nice having other support with me I also think we're in the danger zone right now okay yeah, we're gonna get out of the, out of the way of the danger zone because girls are tough I learned from Powder Puff, and you said you participated in Powder Puff last year. Girls can be vicious and girls can be strong. Yeah, there's been a lot of accidents on the field with Powder Puff. I think with flag football, there's also been an equal amount, but maybe just not as severe. Not as severe, you know, but it goes to show that you girls can handle yourselves. Yeah. And so let's chat with Coach a little bit about what practices have been looking like. Okay, Coach, walk us through what a day in the life of a flag football player looks like. Um, well, we always uh, start off by meeting in the classroom and kind of go through what we're going to install for the particular day and if there's any questions or plays that we're going to input for the day, we'll go over that and then uh, we'll go out and work out on the field for about a, you know, an hour, an hour and a half. But, you know, the girls have been, it's been a pleasure to coach this, this group of girls here, a group of great young ladies, it's been a lot of fun and um, they're very competitive and have a great attitude and great spirit. So. And also my question is, when it comes to coaching flag football versus traditional football, what have you noticed is the biggest change when it comes to coaching? Yeah, the biggest change is, is doing what the particular team can do. Mm -hmm. you know, I've coached the boys and now I'm coaching the girls. So yeah, some of the, we run a lot of the same plays, but I've had to, you know, kind of bring it back to what the girls can handle. and. And they're picking it up and they're doing a great job for us. Right, because flag football is a lot about speed and strategy because it's less about the physical contact. It's more about playing the game smart. So again, they are kicking off their inaugural year and we have a game coming up this evening, right? Yes, we play uh, Destiny Christian tonight here at Consumers Oaks High School at 7 o'clock. So if you're not busy, come out and enjoy a great football game tonight. Hey, I love it. And I hear they, uh, none of the quarterbacks showed up this morning. So I thank you guys. We have a quarterback. Okay, well, if you didn't show up, I was about to take your job. All right, Sarah Gray, throw me the ball. Let's see if I have what it takes to be the QB. We got to create some distance. All right, you ready to catch it? He's going Dun -dun 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 -dun. I, I, that went pretty far. Only your player can get it. That being mm -hmm. said, I do think that my job here is to be the water girl. We'll leave the play <laughs> to the actual athletes. I will make sure you're hydrated as we do so. <laughs> to be fair, you were trying to play in stylish slacks. True. Oh, so that makes it harder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sacra.